G'day guys, listen, a lot of people think that I'm pro-pasto. Well, that's just not the case at all. I'm actually anti-pasto. And today I've got a fantastic little simple anti-pasto dish for you to make. It's only got three ingredients. Simple, quick, easy. Let's start making it. This is Greg's Kitchen. So all you need for this is some stuffed olives. I don't know what's so stuffed about those olives. They look fine to me. A garlic clove and some sweet chili sauce. So we'll start off by turning on our oven about 200 degrees Celsius, which is about 400 Fahrenheit. Alrighty, so grab yourself something that's oven safe, that's not gonna explode or shatter. And we'll start mixing everything in here. So first of all, let's add about a cup's worth of these olives, avoid the tree branch. Now, if those olives weren't so oily, I could probably open this jar, Ugh. but I'll require some help for that. And now we add to this about a quarter of a cup of the sweet chili sauce and about the tablespoon of your crushed garlic. This will not only make an anti-pasto, it'll also make it anti-Dracula. <laughs> and we'll just stir this through and mix it in nicely all together. I guess if you wanted to really dice up and chop the olives up, you could do that also. But I ain't got time for that. Although a food processor probably does. <laughs> Alrighty, so now all we need to do is bung that in the whole oven for like 20 to 30 minutes. I'll set my timer for 20 minutes because it really only needs 20. Alrighty, well the time has just gone off and I've got to tell you, this kitchen smells absolutely incredible. So, let's get this out and see how it tastes. Oh, you know. oh, you... oh, interesting. Alrighty, so how about we just scrape this into a bowl and I'll just let this cool down a bit before I tuck on in for the old Pro Pasto Anti Pasto Sweet Chili with Garlic and Olive Spice Zest. Of course, what would an Anti Pasto be without some freshly cut French bread? <laughs> French. <laughs> okay, it's toast. Now I haven't got the budget to keep buying all those expensive breads. And we'll just put this on the plate with the bread. And how pretty does that look? Okay, well, there's that Anti Pasto I just whipped up. I'll tell you what, it's super easy to make. And the smell. Oh my god. It definitely will ward Dracula away if you eat this. It might also ward away the girl you're trying to pick up too with the amount of garlic that's in this. Oh. So I'll just get this piece of French bread that just ha so happens to look like toast. We'll give it a go. Ooh. Wow, that is all of me. If you do make it, I'd love to know how yours turns out. Remember to share this video some thumb and love. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time right here on Greg's Kitchen. <laughs> oh yeah. I gotta tell you, it cleaned out my sinuses as well. 